greet you all brothers and sisters in the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior it is good to meet with you this moment of meditation life is not without its problems fears threats and storms when we are faced with these kind of situations what we look for is a secure place to hide what we want is a shelter a hiding place money influences positions will not and cannot provide what we are looking for these resources can give us a sense of security but the psalm 91 gives us the only effective and sure security and a shelter from the storms and life threatening situations God is speaking in this psalm and promising us a strong shelter. And what can be that strong shelter? It is himself. God himself wants to be our shelter. He wants us to live under his roof. And this is a marvelous thing about our God. Our God does not abandon us when we are faced with such situations and we do not know where to turn and what to do and whom to approach. But thanks be to God, our God who is faithful and who never abandons us or forsake us Sometimes he may seem to be silent, but that doesn't mean his eyes are blind and ears are deaf, his hands are shortened, that they cannot help. But the truth is, in his silence, he still cares for us, he hears our cries and our prayers, he sees our situations and the struggles that we go through in life and the storms we are facing. And he will not wait too long. At right time, he will come and we will find our security in him. You know that God wants us to live in him. He wants to be your address. He wants us to make him as our home. There are four names used in this Psalm 91 within three verses. And these titles are, these names used are Most High and secondly Almighty God and thirdly, the Lord, and fourthly, is my God. No threat, no storm, and uh, no difficulties are greater than our God. And we, I encourage all of you, to have a deep conviction and sure uh, uh, understanding of who our God is. And when you have uh, this conviction that my God is never absent, he neither sleep nor slumber, he is always awake during our days and during our nights and when we go through storms his eyes are always opened and he sees exactly what we go through and he sees our tears and he hears our prayers and my brothers and sisters 
we are living at a time when life itself is threatened and uh, nothing is very sure but thanks be to God we as his people don't have to live in uncertainty no matter what comes we have one certainty that it is with the knowledge of God and with the understanding of God he permits and when he permits he also has a reason he is able to confront and destroy every enemy that we face because our enemies are his enemies he is the ruler and authority over us and his presence and guidance are always with us and he wants to have a deep and personal relationship with us A relationship of a father-son kind. Very intimate, very deep, and very dear. And so those who will submit themselves to his purposes and plans for us, he always cares for them. And so... I encourage you to read Psalm 91 once again. During this day, today, maybe after soon after this meditation, and think what God is saying to you. And it all depends on your relationship with Him. So I invite you to come on and get out of our anxieties and our fears and anchor on Jesus for he is our peace. Didn't Jesus say or promise that I give you peace and my peace is not like the peace that the world gives and the difference is the worldly peace depends on our circumstances when everything seems to be okay there is no sickness and there is no financial strain and uh, there is no problem with our children and every our health is good and everything seems to be okay and going on well with us then we have peace but it doesn't take uh, too long before that peace is shattered suddenly the doctor's verdict comes that you have this sickness or that sickness which requires their surgery and then the peace is gone. Suddenly a storm can hit our lives. Everything changes like we are going through right now. So in the midst of it, here is God's assurance to you. Live in Him. Let Him be your house. Where there you have perfect security and safety. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. He loves you. He cares about you. Amen.